Hi everyone, just wanted to uh, touch base with you guys and see how everything was going. Thank you so much for leaving comments below. I absolutely love them. So happy uh, to see so many people going through the same journey. So just wanted to start, I'm looking at my email right now from my nurse, Christy, and she said that I, I was expecting to move straight into everything, but I have a few things that I need to do, I guess, before um, they schedule the calendar to actually move forward with the transfer. So she said there's three lab, routine labs that I need to update. So I have an appointment today is Tuesday and I have an appointment tomorrow, Wednesday morning to do that with, um, with my insurance. I use LabCorp. So I think that's 7.30 in the morning and I'll get that all done. I do have to fast for it. So we'll get that done. And then I have a saline ultrasound to get the all clear. Um, just what that is, is looking inside the uterus. And it's something that's really simple, not complicated, not painful. Um, so I just have that to do, which I scheduled for Thursday. So you know me trying to get going on everything and then um, they has to they have to with with insurance they have to get authorization for each cycle so even though this is my first IVF cycle they consider it my second IVF cycle because the first one was the egg retrieval and the second one is the the transfer so they have to get approval from the insurance for that second for the second round and then they ordered my medication so luckily this time around for the um, transfer there there's not as many shots and the shots none of them have to be for refrigerated so that's great um but i just wanted to show you guys real quick because she did give me what they were um so all the medications she says was approved by my insurance except for one she's putting me on vival patches um so i had a call with my insurance company to go ahead and take care of that and they are shipping all medications they'll be here thursday morning and once again i don't have to worry about um, needing any of those refrigerated so i'm really happy about that i'll probably have kenny um, stop by the house maybe on his lunch break and get it but um they said the bad news is not bad but not so great news is she's not going to put together a calendar the calendar shows every medication that we take, the dates of appointments, and the day of my transfer. So I was really hoping to see that today, um, but we'll have to wait. She said after I do the blood work tomorrow and the SIS ultrasound on Thursday, um, she'll get the results and she'll start working on a calendar. So really hoping that I have the same doctor. Um, I, for my egg retrieval, I had Dr. Wood and um, that's she's in Miami. So Dr. Rosef is in Boca and he's he does everything, looks at everything, all my charts, but the actual transfer hopefully will be done by um, Dr. Wood. So I'm really excited and just wanted to keep you guys, you know, informed and updated. Um, I will probably try to film, I want to say the blood work and the ultrasound, but I'm not sure how that's going to go if they allow that in the hospital. So uh, hopefully they do and I'll give you an update as soon as I get my calendar. So love you guys. Talk soon. So I wasn't able to film uh, getting the blood work, but I got my test done this morning. Didn't hurt at all, the nurse was amazing. So if you're wondering about this car, it is a rental because I got an accident a couple weeks ago. Everything is fine, but just have to get my car fixed. So I'll be in this car for the next couple of days. So guess what today is. We are going to the IVF MD because we are doing the SIS of the saline ultrasound and they're going to be able to look guess, at my lining of the uterus to make sure that um, everything looks good. So I'm excited. So I just arrived. It is 11.30 on the dot. So I am one minute late because um, I saw the lock in the building. But uh, as you guys know, I am here for my last, hopefully, saline ultrasound just to get everything approved, make sure the lining is good, and I will be hopefully getting my calendar today so I would know um, like when the shots and patches and all that stuff start and when my possible transfer day will be. So wish me luck. Um, I took 800 milligrams of Advil before they said I could have that and I really have to pee they told me I have to come with a full bladder so um, I'm ready let's see how it goes
so as you can tell, I got my car back first and foremost from when it got fixed. I, it's been three or four days I've had the rental, so I'm excited to be in the car. As you guys know, I film a lot in the car. Anyways, just finished the saline ultrasound. Um, really painful for me. It was it was pretty bad. I got a little nauseous, but um, everything went really well. The doctor said that the uterus looks good. Everything looks ready. So uh, right now, all I'm waiting for is the insurance to approve um, this cycle because as I mentioned before, this, even though it's my first cycle, they count it as a second cycle because it's the second time they're going in. So we got, we're going to get that approved. They said it'll take like another week or so at the most and then I'll get my calendar. So we'll see. Um, heading back to work right now. So hope you guys are having a good day. So I wanted to hop back on here. I did want to clarify as I said that um, the saline ultrasound was really painful. Just wanted to kind of dig a little deeper. Um, they did mention to us or to me that it would be crampy. Some people have it worse than others. For me and my personal experience, um, today it was really crampy like I would say like the take the, the worst cramp that you have on a period and times it by two and that's what it felt like but the good news it only lasted five minutes they were in and out um it's been a half hour now and I'm pulling into work as we speak and it's been light moderate cramping so honestly not that bad at all totally worth it just wanted to clarify that <laughs> for those of you that are maybe going through this um journey it, it wasn't that bad.